the central Iranian city of Isfahan, shortly after midnight Sunday. Locals reported multiple explosions and a fire in an ammunition factory belonging to Iran's defense ministry. The ministry said a drone hit the facility, but called the attack unsuccessful as two other drones were downed with only minor damage to a rooftop. State media released videos like this one to show that everything's normal around the complex, despite the ambulances parked outside. Authorities are investigating the incident, but some telegram channels affiliated with Iran's Revolutionary Guards Corps were quick to accuse Israel for the attack and warned experience has shown that Iran will retaliate. Well, first of all, we have to assume that this is part of the ongoing uh, back and forth conflict between Iran and Israel. We have no confirmation of that. But it's the kind of thing that Israel may have been involved in in the past. So we can assume for purposes of our discussion. Meanwhile, additional reports of mysterious incidents were recorded on Saturday night, including a massive fire at an oil refinery in an industrial zone near the northwestern city of Tabriz, as well as unconfirmed reports of explosions and smoke billowing in the northwest of the capital, Tehran. I think the good news here is that it shows that the defense establishment in Israel uh, is still focused on what is our number one national security challenge today, which is Iran, because it's vital. The Iran problem isn't going away. Saturday's attack in Isfahan bears similar hallmarks to a strike carried out against a nuclear centrifuge factory near the city of Karaj in June 2021, an attack later attributed to Israel. And if indeed Jerusalem was behind Saturday's attack, it would mark the first known covert operation in Iran ordered by Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu since he returned to office at the turn of the year. It would also be a signal that the shadow war between Israel and Iran is still in full force.